Good morning. Austin Hively here with Midline and Minden. It's Tuesday, June 21st. Yesterday, June 20th, was the first day of summer, and uh, I think as we all have witnessed here in the past seven to ten days, experienced a lot of summer-like weather. We've had uh, a lot of hot, dry weather, and uh, although it did cool down last night, got a little bit of rain, um, was quite variable from location to location, but uh, we did get a little bit of rain, and that was much needed and well appreciated. So. As we look at the forecast, uh, a lot of heat and and uh, dry weather in the coming in the future here, and as we work towards July. So I want to talk about how some of that will affect this corn crop, not only now but also as we move forward throughout the growing season. So right now, as you can see behind me here, um, corn here and throughout the countryside. There's a lot of V8, V10, V12 corn. A lot going on in those corn plants. You've got your uh, your your ear formation, not only in rows around, but also in ear length. Um, tassel formation down in those plants as they start to work up throughout the plant, and then overall growth and development. Um, just a lot going on. A lot of heat units being accumulated, so a lot of uh, growing, uh, quickly growing corn. So, um, with that, any amount of stress that that occurs on these plants has the potential to affect yield in the long run. Um, however, most of this is, is actually probably allowing this corn to benefit, uh, to put on stronger root, root systems and get down to some more of those nutrients and some more of that water. Um, when it becomes an issue is as we start to work towards pollination, if we continue this weather pattern, um, that will be something we'll want to evaluate and kind of set those expectations. Um, that, that is when the, this hot and dry stress um, heat and drought stress can be most detrimental to uh, to this corn crop is during that pollination period so um, with that I want to talk a little bit about our drought go drought guard corn um, we've had this this corn commercially available here for a couple years now um, this is an actual trait rather than just a, a drought tolerance rating um, so to speak in some some comparable products so uh, like I said it is an actual trait there's a stress response gene that is activated and uh, when that gets activated, basically the plant goes into an efficiency mode. Um, any water that is taken up is, is used in, in an efficient mode so that it basically can prolong that water until the next rain cycle. Um, some of these products that we have available, 6069, 6155, and 6278 are three products that we had out in pretty large volumes here this spring. And uh, so we hope you guys get a chance to evaluate some of those products here as we move throughout this summer. Um, if you would like to, if, if you don't have those on your farm and you would like to evaluate some of those or you'd like to evaluate some new products, um, we are looking at having an infield clinic next week at some point. Uh, we will, as we work through this week and into early next week, we will, uh, we will set a date and time for that and then, and then let you guys know. But I want to just put that on your radar as something to uh, look forward to as we get into next week. So with that, I'm Austin Hively. If there's any questions today or any concerns, uh, feel free to give me a call. My number is 402-677-5751 or you can contact John 402-672-6951. Thank you.